I just made some bison. I'm gonna put some sauce on it. I'm gonna head to the gym right now. Look at look at look at our little look at our little one next to me. Can you see him? All right, so I'm gonna head out. So I'm pulling out of my gates and heading to Kilo Club. Like I was saying, it's 8:35 now, so I probably won't get training until after nine o'clock and. We'll probably do some miscellaneous filming here, but so it's the first of the year, you know, it's it's actually the fourth. And my mindset is crazy right now with you know all these things I want to try to conquer. And you know, I, I realize I have a pretty lengthy year to start now, so I gotta kind of pace myself a little bit, you know, through the new year, uh through between Christmas and New Year's, I did book a few events and you know, also just really focusing on the Cutler brand expansion internationally. And a lot of these trips that I go on and I deal with a lot of international travel, obviously it's a great place to network and everything else. And I always talk about building relationships. And I can tell you that the 30 plus years that I've been traveling, I just had the anniversary of when I went out to Venice for the first time and I stayed in an uncomfortable atmosphere because, you know, growing up as a kid, I wasn't one of these kids that slept at people's houses or had a ton of friends. Like I was, you know, I had friends in high school, but like I love to go home at night. I really like to stay out and, and stay at other people's homes. And, you know, for the first time in 93, I actually, I was just had turned 20. So I went out in about November. I turned 20 in August just before that. And I was able to stay at Ed Connor's house who at the time owned the Gold's Gym Venice and I got to stay on his in his multi-million dollar home and he always had house guests there it was kind of like the the running joke that it was like the Connors Hilton because you know bodybuilders from all over the world very famous ones I mean you know Sting, Lex Luger, uh, John Cena, uh, you know Paul DeMeo, myself, Aka Malbrick, Jim Quinn, um, the list goes on and on, guys. I mean, some of these names I throw out that you may not even recognize, but you know, I did mention a bunch of wrestlers. He he was he was literally the guy that to help jumpstart a lot of people's career. And for me, he let me stay at his house for one month. I stayed from November to December. I went back just before Christmas. So this just marked the 30 year anniversary that I actually was staying at his place in California. And man, to be out there amongst you know the greats like you know DeMeo was there and you know, Flex Wheeler, Chris Cormier, like all those people, man, it was unbelievable. It was super motivating for me. I went back home just before Christmas and I'm like, I am going to be a professional bodybuilder. That, you know, Teen Nationals I won a few months prior and in June of 93, but when I went out to Golds and I got to see like the lifestyle out there, and back then, Venice Beach was like the place. Like you had to move there to be close to the Weeder magazines and, and you know, they were in Woodland Hills at the time and you know, they were coming down to Gold's Gym. They were doing photo shoots, all that stuff. All the photographers were there. They had all these cool places, the Firehouse Restaurant and Kukuru Chicken and all these spots. They had all the Body Alive store, the Max Muscle stores. You could buy tons of bodybuilding clothing. Atomics was there. Like, it was just a haven for, for fitness and bodybuilding. So I was totally hooked. And next thing you know... You know, I, I went back and forth for a while, but I moved out there for good when I was 25 into Orange County. I didn't actually go to Venice Beach. Things had started to change by that point, but you know, I was able to move out there in 99. I was 25 and I made the jump and of course my career took off like crazy just because Massachusetts to California, anyone that knows on the East, East Coast, you know, the lifestyle there versus California. I mean, it was just like sun every day versus you know, I change the seasons, not to say I don't miss it a little bit. Yeah, that's why I kind of like Vegas a little bit. I mean, it does get like, chilly, like right tonight is, it's 51, which is, you know, it gets down in the 30s at night, a little warmer tonight, so I don't want to, you know, boast about how cold it is, but, you know, it does snow once in a while. I was talking about in jaywalking this morning, how there's the snow on the mountain. So, you know, for me, like, the change of seasons was cool, but, man, it's hard to train, as you guys know, changing to your snow boots in the gym and all that. And the gyms are just crazy on the West Coast. You know, there's one, and it seems like every corner, especially Las Vegas. But 
I, you know, even at my age, guys, you know, in my work schedule and the dreams and aspirations I still want, which honestly has have subsided a little bit. I'll be honest, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in life now. And, you know, like I said, I, I uh, you know, I have a, a pretty structured lifestyle and that involves work, um, you know, the gym, you know, doing a lot of media and stuff and always just working on different projects, you know, you know, it seems like I say work, I don't have like a schedule. I, I have to work around the clock just because of all the different ventures that I mess with. But um, like the gym is still my favorite time, as you know. So it's 845 right now. Like I said, I'm going to get to the gym at nine and I'm going to do some back training. I'll try to get through and explain a couple of the exercises. I don't know how much we'll film. It depends. I have two guys there. Uh, Tyler and his brother are going to shoot some content, so, um, and it is going to be Kilo Club, so it'll be very, very quiet tonight, and uh, I'll probably go through about four different movements, and then, uh, you know, we're on to the next day, so we're going to do focus on a lot of content the next, all through the weekend, tomorrow's Friday, and, you know, I got a pretty t hectic schedule tomorrow, actually. Ever since that burnout video, I've been trying to you know, do a little less just because, you know, I was training seven days. I've actually taken, you know, at least two days off a week now. So I'm going to start with a pull down. So I've already kind of walked through this workout in my head. I'm kind of getting back to old ways now where I used to plan these workouts. So I'm going to do a reverse grip. I'm going to focus on a one arm row, some sort of pull down movement, and then maybe a reverse barbell row, something like that, where you want to do something that, that triggers and engages the lats a little more. An underhand grip always does that. Um, I was always a little scared because of the weights I used. I mean, they always talk about, oh, shoot, am I going to injure my biceps or, you know, because you do use a lot of biceps when you do back training. So for me, uh, I just feel I can get better contraction with the reverse grip. We're really going to work on the contractions and just, you know, see how I go. I kind of touch and go. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy and, uh, you know, try to knock it out. We just posted that clip from I think uh, new and improved or one step closer of the four plates on the rack pull. That was that was a, that was you know I do I still do them now I do them off the floor now. I don't do as many rack pulls because I think I was doing I think I was doing like four plates back then. I was doing bent rows I think with four plates. I was in the red tights yeah. and new and improved. I mean I was sweating like crazy that I was totally I was after a show but. And then you also did those uh, you laid down on kind of like a incline bench. And I rode. In your road. Yeah, I haven't done I haven't done that for a while. That's a good movement. That might be something good to do tonight because you know, you kinda kinda supinate so you kinda pull with the dumbbells. So you know, you start with like it's almost like a bar and then you pull and contract the lats. You should do a series where you like recreate some of those workouts from like uh, the DVDs and just get to the recreate those Yeah, you'd have to cool. compare it side by yeah, side, you that'd know. Be, that'd be cool to do. You see how much the weight difference is now, you know, that's the only thing is, uh, you know, a little bit of the weight difference. Do these reverse pull downs. This is always what I started with first and I was training full capacity. I'm going to do a couple field sets and then I'm going to, I'm going to do probably three working sets, I think. I'm going to pyramid the weight up, focus on 10 or 12 reps. Feel that pre-workout already. 400 megs of caffeine. Eight o'clock at night. How long will that keep you up? Or just uh, caffeine? I, you know what? Believe it or not, I probably can sleep on on, uh, on caffeine. It doesn't affect me that much. It's crazy. People get their their adrenals are shot, right? Because they're they take so much caffeine, but I try not to use so, so much, but if I want to have a good workout, sometimes a little bit of caffeine is good.
45, 60 seconds between each set. So enough to change the weight, catch a breath. I just think it keeps the intensity up. People always talk about training intensity, mind to muscle connection, less distractions between. That's why you notice no phone, right? I've always one of those people that, you know, when especially when I'm really trying to focus on a workout, especially after a long day or when I was competing and professionally, I wanted to focus on the workout and not being distracted by a text or a phone call. So I'm just trying to zone in and really get the, the muscles working. So this is my first working set of three. So I start to feel a burn at eight. By 10, it's like, ooh, I know I'm towards the end. And I had to kind of push myself to get 12. All right, so this is mimicking like a front double bicep. So I always think about that when I do this and pop my lats out to create that V taper. Although it will get a lot of thickness to the lats too. It's great for that, that width. You know, that V taper. I mean, pull-ups is probably your best exercise for that, but do this. And then I'll probably move over to a one-arm dumbbell row. So I've already put this through my mind. Where I've already kind of gone through the workout. I think that's when you talk about experience. And, you know, even at my level now, I still kind of plan the workouts out. So I'm going to keep the seat rather low on this. Just so I can get under the weight a little bit. Some people like to see a little higher, but... I'm going to do a new, kind of a medium grip on this. So kind of go in between. And you see how I wrap this. So I'm going to actually pull, if you watch, my fingers are actually going to pull the weight down. You see how I'm kind of got a loose hand? Yep. And just typical pull. 10 to 12. So I trained from 8 to 10 because I had classes during the day and then I worked like a night shift. So I worked overnight security and I didn't care, dude. I made five bucks an hour, but it was like I made enough just to pay for my food and shit. And then I just, the gym was like the only thing I cared about. Then I worked with a membership. I started cleaning at the gym and just being around the culture. Got 
do it. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this. This is gonna lengthen the lat. So if you notice, it's not just a straight up and down. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna give a pull like this and stretch the lat. So watch this movement. See, it's forward and back. Forward and back. Pull to the hip, but stretch the lap. That's the key. So Tyler was just talking about they brought in a 200 pound dumbbell for me to do these with. A single 200 pound? Yeah, so I was rolling with 200, which would tear my biceps now. Kind of funny as you you know i train at all different times but i always said training late after four meals is going to be most beneficial if you're trying to put on size so i have food in me uh the pump is good right now i mean obviously i took a a crazy pre-workout which i honestly don't take as much but like, I feel like I could go, go, go right now. And I think the last time I did rows, I might have done 80. That was 85. I'm going to do 95 this set. It's going to be my heaviest set. So this is the one-arm row. And then I'm going to do bent over barbell row reverse grip. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But So three sets each, working sets. Now that I'm going... This is going to just be three three sets, no more feel sets or anything like that. So 95, I think this gym only has 100s. So this is the heaviest I've gone in a while, to be honest. I could have done probably maybe 20. I'd probably feel it too much in the morning though. <laughs> so we talk about this, okay, a million times. Bent row, off a rack, off a floor. This is gonna be. So kind of at a 45. So people bent row like this they stand up a little more upright. I'm gonna do about here. And I'm gonna do a reverse grip. I'm gonna use my fingers to pull this, hence why I have the wraps, okay? And I'm gonna pull this weight to this region and I'm gonna focus on 10 or 12 reps. So this weight is gonna be a little lighter. I'm gonna get the feel for the weight. Use the fingers and I'm gonna use this line as a judge. See this line here between these two lines? So I'm gonna take that kind of like a I would probably call this a medium grip. I almost want to say shoulder width, but I'm using the wraps. And by the time I do the set, I'm going to be rolling like this. So the hands are going to be kind of loose, but the fingers are going to hold the weight. And I'm going to yank that weight to the lats. Okay, see the hang down? Just as hooks, right? Yep. So 
so same thing, stretch. Feeling those lats engage. So when you think about the Christmas tree as it comes down, that thickness. So front to back, that thickness from the side, the lower lats. So I'm gonna go up a little bit in weight. Back in those days, those would be 45s. Instead, today they're 10s. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on enough to change the weights, catch the breath a little bit. I'm gonna grow with another 10. 10 reps. You think people are going to be bothered if you didn't do 12 what? 12 reps? I don't know, maybe. Did I do 10? Yeah. Or 11? I wasn't counting. I think, I thought it was, oh, I thought see, you said 10 before. You guys tell me. Yeah. I think 10. I'm trying to break the tradition because if this is TikTok, they say, what happens to 12 reps? I bet he's going to do 12. I'm trying to do 10. I did 10? 9 last week. He yeah. says nine, but he's going to go for 10. I'm going to give him a spot. Come on. Come on, go, go. Good, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I only say 60 seconds max. Per set? I think, you know, and that's why, like, I, everyone came and trained with me. And they used to say, oh, Jay trains okay. He doesn't train so heavy. But the speed is what my recovery was crazy. Like, I could just go up and wait and continue to do the same weight for the, the 12 reps. Even with little recovery, you know. So... It's 12. Yeah, nice. I knew you were going to do 12. I had the feeling. You know, I get more people, you TikTok people, I hope this goes on TikTok at some point. They always want me to say, does the legend answer? <laughs> and of course, I always answer, right? Every time. What's up? What's up? Of course, I do. What do you want? They just want to reply. But you know what? Half the time I don't get anything back. I still get the disrespect of, does the legend answer? How many times are you going to ask if I answer or not? And how many times question. are you going to reply? Uh, how many times Tens of have I replied? Tens of thousands. Right? Nonstop. Every TikTok I put up today, someone has to put that. It's not always the same person either. All right, so we're gonna do this roll right here. But one thing about me is I'm on every social media platform. There is, it takes a lot of time. But I'm always giving time to, to my fans. All right, so see the cable roll. Back straight, pull back. I'm gonna do 12 reps. This is kind of not super heavy, so. So seated cable row, pretty standard. A lot of grips, okay? This could be an underhand. I mean, it could be a rope, overhand. 
we're using the the little V handle, okay? So ideally, focusing the lower lats. Same thing, 10, 8, 10, 12, 15, you guys that want to go a few reps over. Uh, now, variations in every gym. Some are high, some are lower, some are on the floor. The cable makes a difference, okay? So this is going to be pulling it pretty low. I know some of you guys pull different. The main thing is, is for the back not to go too far back or too far forward. I know a lot of guys are rolling like this now to get a contraction. I'm more straight up, chest out, pull it to the waist, okay? I'm going to shoot for 12. I think I did 11 on the last one, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is the heaviest set, right? So. Yep. I think fasted cardio is the most effective. It's gonna burn, take the sugar from the bloodstream. You know, morning cardio is ideal if you're trying to lose body fat. So you wake up, if you wanna take, I usually drink two glasses of water, and then I'm using L-carnitine right now. Some people use, you know, fat burner like Sculpt or whatever. And then I do at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes, ideally a little more. If I was getting ready for a contest, I'd do 45 stairs and then eat breakfast. So you're burning what's in your bloodstream, which is probably very little if you're waking up and getting a good night's sleep, but you're also using your, your fat storage as your energy source. And, you know, obviously not trying to burn up muscle tissue, but you want to lean out I believe fasted cardio is the ideal way to do it. Okay, so what are we gonna do is, I'm gonna do an incline row. So I'm gonna row the dumbbells like this. Okay, and we're really gonna focus on that whole lat region, right? So this is the back and it ties down to that V. This is where the J bells are gonna come in handy. So. We talk about the balance, we talk about the dumbbells maybe hitting something. These, your hand go through the middle and this is gonna allow you to just have a straight plane. And ideally it's gonna be like a piston, it's gonna come like this. I'm gonna focus on 10 or 12 reps and I'm gonna go right through it. So that's the J-Bell. And uh, show how it, we're gonna show see how, how much weight, we're gonna see how much weight this is, okay? It's a little light. See how heavy we can get here. These must be the he heaviest ones, right? Yeah. Must, okay. Must be right. So this uh, this feels about right. All right. So watch this now. So I'm gonna put my my chest at the upper level of the t the bench, and I, I'm gonna roll. Okay, just like a piston. The feet are my balance point. I am making a post-workout drink. I want to I want to bring you guys over. You can see what my post workout. This is a secret. Okay, I'm gonna see how how everyone uh, follows my stuff. Okay, watch this. Okay, keep an eye on this. Is this the secret to post workout? Well, uh, a little hot today. Uh, this workout, like we started, you know, I said I was going to be about. 45 minutes, it probably was more of an hour. Um, yes, maybe I took a couple laps in between, but 
you know, go through the workout. I did the reverse pull down to start. I did the overhand pull down. That uh, was my second exercise. Uh, third exercise was going to be the one arm dumbbell row. I talked about that. I did three sets there. Uh, bent barbell row, reverse grip. Okay, we talked about that using the fingers as the hooks. Um, then we worked over to the cable row, the seated cable row. Um, and then we bonused. We bonused with the two arm dumbbell row on the incline bench. Now, this is a throwback from, I don't know what DVD it was. Maybe we can showcase it here on this video. One, I don't know, one step closer or cut above. I mean, there's so many, right? Uh, but I want to showcase that I did this and this you talked about with the J bells. It was pretty cool because you can work through that plane. But that was a bonus set. And I went through and I, you know, that's about 18 sets, probably more because there are a couple of feel sets in there. So for me, I talk about not doing as much volume. I 30 sets was my standard when I was my biggest and baddest, right? Uh, but I did 18 plus today um, just because I'm super motivated, you know, took extra pre-workout. Let's keep pushing. I do appreciate you guys following. I do appreciate you guys commenting and uh, tell me, tell me what, why you train, like what time you train, what's better for you. Is it morning? Is it midday? Is it night? Is it middle of the night? How many hours of sleep do you get? Is it necessary? Do you feel better on a certain number of hours or... You sleep eight or 10 hours, are you lucky ones? Uh, let me know, but I appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow, and uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. Late nights, early mornings. No mercy for you, no worries for you. That game of thrones, don't sexy on you.